Mm. What are you doing now that's different with, uh, you know, you got on the Twitter, right? And so mm. I know that. And congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I think it's, it's interesting. It's brave for people to get out of the system. A lot of people. Well, I, I was think, expelled from the system. But yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, got, <laughs> you got laid off from everywhere. I you? have, yeah. Was it fun. cutbacks or why did you take? <laughs> cutbacks. No, it's not good. I love, I'm going to, I'm going to use that though. Yeah. There's downsizing, just downsizing. Yeah, 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 totally. yeah. I'm being retrained. I'm learning to code actually. <laughs> <laughs> they closed the plant. Yeah. I totally get, it. I was on third shift and they're just, the demand was in decline. Um, I, I am going to use that though. Next time. No, Why were you ahead. fired? Um, downsizing. But oh. you got out and you moved to, uh, I was thrown out. You were um, thrown out. And I, and Elon called me the day that I, my show was canceled. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I was grateful that he did. And he called you, huh? Had you spoken to him before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, I had, and uh, and I really liked him, and um, I'm not a technology person, to put it mildly, like at all. Yeah, I'm very anti -technology. I've heard that. Yep, like almost on a crazy sort of Ted Kaczynski way, which is, I'm not defending. It's so bad. who handles tech for you then, kind of? The tech people, I don't, they they, they live in Bangalore. I don't okay, know yeah. their names. Just kidding. No, we have really super smart people. The Bangaloreans? Isn't the Bangal The Bangaloreans. No, um... Actually, our oh, Mandalorian. Most of our staff from Fox came, um, and Elon's. I mean, we don't work for Elon. I'm just I'm a Twitter user like everybody else. But his all he said was, um, "I'm going to keep the platform open, you know, and people with differing views, whether I agree with them or not, are welcome on the platform." And and that's that's the guarantee that I wanted and needed. And so I've been super grateful. I mean, that's all I've ever wanted. By the way, um, is to I've never been a I have made some money, but not. I never got crazy rich, but I never wanted to. That wasn't my goal at all. I mean, I guess I would like to be richer, I guess. I don't know what I would do with it exactly. Yeah, I just yeah. don't want to be bossed around. And by the way, I don't mind taking advice or wise counsel from people I respect or I'm often wrong. I'm not saying that I'm always right. I'm definitely not. But being ordered to do things suggests a level of disrespect. I just can't, I just can't deal with it at all. And even just about like work and stuff, were you always like that from just like with work? Like you want to be your own voice? Of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, like that's where you end up, right? getting fired. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, not that I don't, I don't want to fight about it. I'm not interested in being like, you can't tell me what to do or, you know, give a lot of lectures about it. But I, I def, especially in my business, you have a similar job where, you know, you're paid to say what you think. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you, you want to do your job, which is to say what you think. Was there even a time when you were working at different news places where you were like, gosh, this still isn't my own voice? Oh, all the time. Really? It was always my own voice, but they're just, you could feel the parameters. I mean, I started in my 20s, mid-20s. I'm now in my mid-50s, so it's been a long time. Why well, you look great for 50s, man. I'm 54. Are you really? Yes. Oh, wow. I know. Isn't that shocking? It's shocking. Yeah. I don't feel it. But anyway, but when you're... When you're much younger and you've got little kids, I always had a lot of kids just reproduce like a crazy person. Yeah. Which I recommend strongly to you. Um, you know, you feel vulnerable and like, you know, you're not allowed to say th certain things. And I do think I, I was never censored, but I self-censored for sure. You know, the war in Iraq breaks out and you're like, maybe it's a good idea. <laughs> but it's crazy. not a good idea. And you know, it's not a good idea. Yeah. Y you know what I mean? But you allow yourself to be convinced because you know it's super unpopular to say it's not a good idea, but it clearly wasn't. War with Iran, not a good idea. I can say that now. Why do we go along with that consensus a lot of times? What is it that makes us afraid to speak out? Well, people have a deep need to be part of a group. It's just, a, it's a human need right up there with sex and food and shelter. You know, it's like people want to be connected to other people, which I understand, and, and I want that too. But that can override reason and common sense very often. So if you're, and a million studies have been done on this, but if you're in a group, I mean, everyone experienced, you know, a group full of people and everyone's yeah. like, you know, I hate chocolate ice cream. And you're like, I kind of like chocolate ice cream, but you don't say anything about it because people that like chocolate ice cream suck. And you're like, yeah, they kind of suck. Ugh. You know, it's just, it's a human thing. And um, so it's, people go along with stuff that their gut tells them isn't the right thing, but you should never ignore your gut your instincts, which you inherited from your ancestors, which are encoded in your DNA and which are almost never wrong. If you're with someone and you feel like, God, that person's lying, that person's lying. Right. You, you may not know what about, you don't have x-ray vision into someone's soul, but you can smell the yeah. deception on someone. I know that you can, we all can. Oh yeah. Or if you feel danger, you're like, wow, this person poses a threat to me. You're right. 
you don't know the details. You don't need to know the details. Get away. Yeah. And if something's really stupid, like let's go have a war with Ron. It's like what? Yeah. And I just feel like it's you know maybe because of my age and my job, I sh I have a moral obligation to say I I think that's really unwise. You don't want to you don't want to go to war with Ron. <laughs> no, because I'm not insane. Yeah. So what is your plans now? Like you've already, you're on Twitter, you're in a free space. Yes. As much as we have in, in today's society, you're in a free space for free speech. What else do you, is there like? We have some plans. I mean, some of them, I mean, if I'm being honest, include territorial expansion. We're going to invade Canada. Oh, dude, they'll just knock. No, pillow fight. Oh, you can take oh, them yeah. in a second. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I, I just want to continue doing what we're doing, which is just, you know, say th say things that can't be said in other places, bring facts that maybe people haven't heard with a spirit of humility. You know, if you, I'm having spent my whole life in Washington, for most of it, 35 years, wow. I'm very, I know, it's, I can't believe I did But you that. know what, we're, I think a lot of people were glad that somebody was there. You know, it's nice to see people that get out of a space because then they're, when you're not as compromised, when people don't seem as compromised. It's totally right. No, it's totally true, but I didn't realize just how, control my brain was by it when I was in it, because you don't, right? But um, but anyway, but I've been around a lot of people who set out to, like with these grandiose plans, I'm gonna change the world. Those people invariably, 100% of the time, make the world worse. So like, you know, approach every task with the knowledge. I have no real idea what I'm doing. Mm. I don't know the long-term consequences of this. I probably can't fix every problem. I'm just gonna try my best with humility you know, to make things slightly better. That's my goal, make things slightly better. But anyone who tells you, well, you know, if we pass this legislation, we're gonna fix everything. We're gonna fix healthcare forever, said Barack Obama in 2010. Well, as soon as he said that, I was like, I don't even know much about healthcare. I'm hardly an expert, but I was like, the second you tell me you're gonna fix something as complicated as, you know, one fifth of the entire US economy in one piece of legislation, fuck you. Yeah. Cause you're lying actually, cause mm. that's impossible. And it turned out, they made it worse, of, of course. So I don't want to do that. Not that I even have the power to, but I just want to, you know, I just want to tell the truth and and do it without being told not to. And I think that we can. And Tucker on X is your show. Yep. Right. Yep. And do you guys have? Will you? Do you think? Would you ever do a show with a partner? You think or anything like that? I'm not going to pitch you an idea. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Because that's usually the predecessor question of like somebody trying to pitch you an idea. But do you think about that sort of thing? Like, do you I have- know. Well, I mean, I have a million people I would like to, to work with. I mean, you know, I like to interview people actually and a lot. And I really try to be quiet while I interview them because I'm a compulsive talker, obviously. But I'd like a respite from that where I can just like listen. So I like to, we will have a lot of people on and we have, and we'll have a lot of recurring- Yes, but yeah, we have all, we're making a bunch of documentaries and doing stuff like that. Um, so like a production company kind of more? Like are you expanding mm -hmm. in that sense? Mm -hmm. 